trend in news hype up i will not tolerate smear campaign division and fighting when i'm the carnal ones the news totals the leader of the indigenous people of biafra hype Mazin Unam Dekano on Tuesday said he would no longer tolerate a smear campaign against IPOP and the legal team. The IPOP lead council, Ifayi Ejiofo, disclosed this in a statement to newsmen in Oriu after they had visited Kano at the detention facility of the department. Of state services DSS in Abuja last Monday. Kano said those behind the smear campaign should be seen as traitors. A G of a white coating Kano, he said, consistent with the subsist- subsisting order of the court, we paid our written visit on only to Mazin Unam de Kano. We availed ourselves of the opportunity afforded by the visit to brief Onyodo on several issues. First, we acquitted him with the level of preparedness for the preliminary skirmishes that would take place in court in the criminal charge preferred against him. As we all know, proceedings in the criminal charge we resume on the 16th instant. Second, secondly, we proved him on the smear campaign orchestrated against my good self by traitors and desperate enemies of the struggle aimed at causing disharmony within the fold and needlessly generated ill feelings. Onyedumazu Unam Dikano was thoroughly ashamed by the utter infertile mendacity inherent in the smear campaign and the unimpressive, unintelligent, wobbling, and poorly thought, thought out strategy that inf- informed the whole endeavor. He advised that I should quickly ignore and concern the half-hearted attempt of such a despicable lot to the garbage bin and resist every attempt by them to distract me. It was not at all rattled or perturbed by the news of the smear campaign, but rather we emphasized the unshaken trust and confidence he has always reposed in me. He observed that any true son or daughter of evil land that opts to take the pleasure of making derogatory or disparaging publications against my good self or any of his other lawyers is guilty of cheap blackmail and must be pitied for condescending to an optimal level. Such a person must be seen not only as a contemptuous slave but also as an irredeemable traitor to the entire Igbo race. Furthermore, Oyo Domazi Unam Dekano warned that he will not tolerate any form of destruction, division, or in fighting in his person in his peaceful movement. He commended the dedicated officials at the helm of affairs of the movement for living up to expectation. Hypop says Mazutnam Dekano have warned the IPOP members and others that he will not tolerate smear campaign division in fighting. Recall that Mazunam de Kano is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and has been in the detention of the DSS since 2017.
Mas é o nome do cano. Who said that if the Nigerian government, the federal government is ready for peace, they are also ready to establish peace movements. But he's not saying that the IPOP group at large should relent, should not fight for their agitation, but they should do it in the peaceful manner. That enemies are redeemed, that are trying to make sure that they scatter the group, cause this harmony, cause chaos in the group. Recall that if I in a GFO has been in the news some, t- some time ago, that he has a court pending court issue. A GFO who has been tagged that he has is he is involved in fraud and he has he's been used to making sure that the trial the case of Mazunam de Kano is always postponed. The government is making use of them. But if I knew a GFO could be convicted very soon for fraud and other offenses the 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 why the biggest problem unam de Kano and ipod members have had was the lawyer they used Mas, uh, pardon a geofo who has been implicated in a serious case of fraud forgery criminal breach of trust and the EFCC started to investigate the case in 2015. According to the Human Rights Attorney, the Anti-Craft Agency has conducted a meticulous investigation and established what it described as watertight case against a GFO. The charges against a GFO was filed in 2016 at the FCT High Court, we'll see. and he said he is very sure that when they get to the court and give them the court number, they're going to know that a GFO is up for trial. But Unam Dekano said that he believes in a GFO, that the people are just trying to cause this harmony. That is what they are trying to do. What's your take on this? When IPOP says he will not tolerate smear campaign, the vision in fighting, this harmony among the IPOP members. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.